Hi, it's Miss Anathea here, your evolutionary astrologer, transformational astrologer, and the love card lady. What I want to talk about today, very briefly, just give it a nice short snippet, but I really feel it's important for you to know about this because it's happening Saturday, April the 20th, and it's the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. And so this is the big one, one of the biggest astrological influences. I mean, we just had the eclipse and this month is just pretty intense. Um, but uh, this Jupiter Uranus conjunction is one of the biggest astrological um, influences for 2024. So let's talk about it. This is a 14 year cycle when Jupiter, these two planets come together. It's a 14 year cycle. However, the last time it was in the sign of Taurus, is uh, in 83 years ago, 1941. What was happening in 1941? What happened in 1942? Well, uh, Pearl Harbor got attacked and we went to World War II. We went into World War II, right? I am not a historical buff. I am not in the market of selling war. So I hope this time we have learned from these experiences and, and that we, we have an opportunity to not repeat history. So this is 83 years ago that that happened. And there's a lot of tension in the world. I do not watch news. I do not, um, um, I do not participate in creating a worse future, though I'm sure my mind helps to participate in that. But let's get back to what is really important is how can you make the best of this Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. Let's talk about those two planets, Jupiter and Uranus. They are coming together in the sign of Taurus. So let's just talk, basically, there's three main energies that's happening here. Jupiter energy, Uranus energy, and Taurus energy. These two are planets, this one's a sign. Um, the two planets are in that sign, okay? So Jupiter, what's Jupiter energy? Jupiter is expansive. You know, you can fit, they say, I've never been there, so I don't know. A thousand Earths into Jupiter. Jupiter is so huge and so expansive. It doesn't even have a surface, apparently. But you can fit a thousand Earths into Jupiter. So what, wherever Jupiter is, it expands. And, let you know, does it expand in a positive way? Well, Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So it's kind of like Sagittarian energy also. Uh, so Jupiter, what Jupiter is really looking for, what Sagittarian energy is looking for, is looking for meaning the search for knowledge, the search for truth. So not only does this Jupiter energy expand things, it's wanting to teach us things. It's wanting to have us find meaning and um, see the truth. So that's a really good thing. And I probably should have done Uranus first because whatever J Jupiter is gonna have this effect on Uranus. Well, Uranus is an even further out planet. So it's bringing in more higher consciousness, more greater awareness energy into our consciousness because these planets affect us. So what is Uranian energy? It is otherworldly. It's revolutionary, evolutionary. It wants to elevate society and civilization. It wants to innovate. It's about technology. It's about your own unique expression of you. You know, like the individual that everybody matters in their own unique expression. So these two planets are coming together. One that's searching for meaning and wants to expand things. It's almost like, you know, Jupiter can be like a good luck charm. Okay. Uranus wants to elevate things, wants to see things from a broader point of view. These are not personal planets. So this is about us all coming together on the planet in a higher level. But let's take it down to a personal level for you, because this conjunction is happening somewhere in your natal chart and affecting you. If it's there's there's 12 different sectors um, in a person's life, according to a natal chart, which the natal chart is, um, you know, where um, the natal chart is, uh, you know, a snapshot of where all the planets were when you took your first breath. And you're no mistake. So when you took your first breath, you actually came in to have these certain experiences according to your astrology, right? Because it fit, the energy fit. And so where is, is this beautiful uh, conjunction that I actually call the great awakening? Where is it happening in your chart? If it's in the first chart, it's going to be a great awakening about you because 
that the first house is about you. The second house is about your money and resources. The third house is about communication, siblings, networking, connecting, uh, understanding. The fourth house is about home, hearth, and uh, support. The, fi the fifth house is about expression and children and playfulness and open-heartedness and you know who you are and your passions and your fire and what you want to create. The fifth house is your vocation and how to make things better and make things work. Seventh house is about relationships. Eighth house is about your shadow side, and what you don't really want to look at, right? But if you do, and you see the great awakening is putting a flashlight there to help you to transform. The ninth house is the Sagittarian energy wanting you to expand. Tenth is related to your career. Eleventh is related to, uh, um, you know, your social network or uh, your friends and people around you, your community. And the twelfth is about spirituality. I'm just putting it in a very simple format here. So wherever that great awakening is happening in your chart, which is that conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus, it's actually supporting you in raising yourself to a higher consciousness. Now, in the very beginning, I said, when this happened last time in Taurus, and, and again, the, the, the third energy is Taurus. It's about bringing all this higher consciousness, this greater meaning, truth, and awareness, innovation, elevation, progress, down to earth, Taurus, Taurus is earth, right? Last time we had this conjunction 83 years ago was when Pearl Harbor got attacked. So, you know, um, how can we play it out differently? Only the, uh, we don't have any control on the global level. What we have on, what we have control over, what you have control over is on the personal level. So think about your relationships. Think about what's happening in your life. Think about where you are being called to elevate yourself because we have these patterns, these habitual patterns in our life that don't serve us. So this conjunction that's happening this Saturday is giving you an opportunity. And I'm sure you're already feeling this energy. Let a stroke of enlightenment, like, like you know, the light bulb going up. Ah, oh, I get it. Let that happen. Open up to the possibility of you seeing things from a higher perspective, from a broader view, from a more expanded awareness. That's what this conjunction is really gifting you. And that's why I wanted to tell everybody about this. That's why I wanted to tell you about this, because I want you to ride this energy. What do we have today? Today's Wednesday. Okay, so here's the conjunction. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it goes like, oh, build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. And then, and that's the cycle. And that's the cycle that's giving it for the next 14 years outside of Taurus and for the next 83 years within Taurus, if, if I'm making sense there for you. So it was important for me to share this because in this moment, I'm going to repeat this in these next few days and for the next 14 years or 83 years, 14 years, at least, let's just make it simple. Um, the cosmos and the planets and the stars are helping us to expand our consciousness. All you have to do is your part to step into that and see things from a broader point of view, not just your own personal view, which is also important, but bringing the collective and everybody into consideration. And I guarantee you, your life will transform. So I hope this was helpful. Please share it. Have a beautiful day. And remember, it, this Saturday, April the 20th, do something special. Let that energy move through you. Have some fun with this. All right, take care.